Hello everyone. Welcome back to DSI's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to use your Canon's new touchscreen on the DX series. Let's say you got a new copier in the office but you weren't there for the initial training and you would like to know basically how to use some of the functions on this screen. This is what we're going to take a look at today. So our layout that we send to our customers basically has the three main buttons, copy, fax, scan, and send. You can configure these to hold more buttons, but we find that simplicity is actually better in a lot of cases because these touch screens do hold a lot of information. So what we're going to look at first is the copy screen. So let's select it, and you're going to see this. Basically, what you're seeing is how it's set up currently. So if we were to make one copy, it would be black and white. There would be a single copy, 100%. But let's say you want to do something color. So here's your color selection button. And you can do auto, meaning the copier detects it. Or you can do full color, meaning that's what it's going to do, period. So for this, we'll do auto. Hit OK. Now we got color. Let's say you want to do 10 copies. So 1, 0, 10 copies. Let's say you want to make it two-sided. So what we got are two one-sided documents that's going to make it two-sided. You can also two-sided to two-sided or take it apart and make a two-sided document to single-sided documents. We also have a finishing button here. Basically, it's just collating. If your copier is equipped with a finisher, you will see more settings. But for the purposes of this video, this is just a very simple overview. If you hit clear, everything will return to normal as far as your copy count. And when you're done, you can go home and it will return you to the home screen. Scan and send, this is where we're going to do our scanning. So if you're scanning to a folder, scanning the email, something of that nature, this is where you'll be. Address book, that's going to be where your names will be. So for an example, if there's emails and phone numbers stored in your copier, you're going to see them populate right here. If you want to see only emails, you can hit that button. If you want to see only fax numbers, you can hit this button. All will have everything. So what you want to do, let's say you do want to scan something, you will put the document in the document feeder, make sure the copier recognizes it by the light that comes on. You would open this screen up and select one of the names here and hit OK. And then hit Start. And as soon as you go through that process, your document will be scanned. It's going to go back home. And for those of you that are using fax, we do have fax options. Pretty simple layout. So if you want to dial the number, that's all you do. And again, you would have your document you wish to fax loaded into the document feeder. Hit OK. And hit Start, and it will pull that document through and send it via fax for you. A couple of things we want to also note on this screen is, let's say you want to know what your toner levels are. So right here where it says status monitor. Let's hit that. And you will see these choices up here, the copy print. That means your copy print jobs will be listed here if there's any in queue. The same for send, receive in regards to scanning. But we're also looking at consumables, so you just hit that button, and there you go. You're going to get your paper trays. This copier has four. Your copier may have two, but this will show you what's loaded in there. If it's right now, everything's letter paper. Here's your toner levels. 
So anytime you need to check that, you can just go here. Most of these modern copiers read these toner levels from the dealership, so they'll know when you're almost out of your toner. So we'll go back home real quick. And if you just want to know what your counter is, if you're curious to see how much you do, hit the numbers, and this will be your counter. You can also print this list. And that's a very, very simple introduction to the screen. There is much more to it. If you have any further questions, uh, talk to your dealership and see if you can get some assistance on how to dive deeper into this screen. Or we will have more videos coming out in the near future regarding extra things to do with this. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day.